Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's now time for the nation's sharpest opinion. From global headlines for incidents of stone pelting to hosting the world at the G20 from the weekly visuals of attacks at the Indian Armed Forces by Pakistanis to the first ever Formula 4 car racing event. Kashmir has changed. Ladies and gentlemen, from the grenade attack ripping through the Regal Cinema in Srinagar to getting its first multiplex in 2020, the face of Jammu and Kashmir has transformed under the Modi government after the abolition specially of Article 370 and 35A. For decades after decades, a regurgitated narrative was thrust, a lie told a billion times, projected and amplified by a globally funded well-oiled machinery that Kashmir, that the problem of Kashmir shall never be solved. We were told it was too complex a conflict for India to find a solution to. And yet, ladies and gentlemen, Narendra Modi has delivered the answers. Four and a half years after the revocation of 370, Kashmir has been more peaceful, more integrated than it has ever been through independent India's history. And that is a proud moment for every Indian. So, and this brings me to the news point today. When Amit Shah says today that the government is actually considering a rollback of AFSPA in Kashmir, I do not see this as a loose comment or a comment linked only to the upcoming elections. The Mufti Club says that it is a pre-election comment. But I believe there has to be more to it. It is a well-thought comment. Because history is proof to the fact that the Modi policy in Kashmir is not a knee-jerk one. It is one that goes deep into strategic thinking, winning of trust and creation of security buffers to put India first. So when Amit Shah makes that statement, it is with a whole lot thought out in my view. It's a different matter that it has sent Mehbooba Mufti and Omar Abdullah into a grand meltdown because the BJP has checkmated them. Because the revocation of AFSPA was all we ever heard of as a pre-poll plank from the dynastic Gupkar gang. But beyond the politics, is it possible to roll back AFSPA? Does it have consequences for the armed forces? Because there are lessons the government will of course take from the rollback in areas of the Northeast. But there is also solace and confidence because the security fallout has not been as drastic as the narrative had been built up earlier. And my view, my view is that the Modi government will go ahead and slowly phase out AFSPA only and only when they are completely ready for a phased, studied and meticulous rollback of AFSPA. It should not happen overnight. Let's debate. Risking has given way to F4 racing on the streets of Srinagar. Headlines now boast tourism figures, not terror fatalities. IED blast and stone pelting have given way to the world's highest rail bridge and a state-of-art movie hall. Kashmir stealing the spotlight even at the G20. Confident Home Minister on the improving situation. निश्चित रूप से चुनाव के बाद इस पर हम एक एक्शन प्लान बनाए हैं और जम्मू कश्मीर पुलिस के हवाले ही जम्मू कश्मीर का कानून और व्यवस्था की स्थिति होगी और धीरे धीरे ट्रूप बैरक में जाएंगे ये हमारा एक डिजाइन बना हुआ है हमने सात साल का एक ब्लूप्रिंट बनाया है जम्मू कश्मीर पुलिस को हम स्ट्रेंथ ही करें जम्मू कश्मीर की पुलिस अब अपने पैरों पर खड़ी हुई और जितनी भी मुठभेड़ हुई है इसमें ज्यादातर अब जम्मू कश्मीर की पुलिस करती है it could mean that he realizes the sensitivity that this is a huge nuisance for people here because let's not forget aspa is a draconian law it gives unbridled impunity to armed forces to do as they please and we have seen cases documented cases of how these laws have been abused kashmir now only looking at a brighter future
this time the prime home minister of the country really walks the talk because this is a time maybe the home minister feels that this law is a nuisance to the people of jammu and kashmir now needs to be seen when the home minister will really deliver as per the promises made to the people of jammu and kashmir naya kashmir emblematic of a naya badalta bharat after repeal of article 370 is up span next let's debate the point to note is neither the home minister nor the government has talked about when afspa will be rolled back but the statement itself has its own significance i want to start with general bakshi the worry would be general bakshi that if you phase out afspa then the security forces would not have the cover they need to operate in the conflict ridden areas so is it a practical thing to roll back afspa is the valley really ready for it and is the army ready for it uh look uh, arnab as you rightly pointed out the armed forces special powers act provides the legal cover to the armed forces to operate within the boundaries of jammu and kashmir and not face uncalled for legal harassment at later stages it is gives them the bare minimum you know those uh, preventive powers which are there with the police already the police can't be dragged to courts the uh, you know the uh, police forces cannot be taken to court just like that so it's in principle i it is a good thing it's a good move to restore normalcy in jammu and kashmir but i would like to sound a note of caution just last year we've had major attempts to revive terrorism in the rajauri punch area my plea is that we should be very carefully calibrate this decision uh, uh, measures which are meant in very good faith have sometimes given reprieve to terrorist groups which are under pressure we will have to wait and watch and uh, firstly you know take the army back and see what is the uh, you know the repercussions on the ground before you remove the legal cover as it is most of the operation they have very heavy police involvement in fact the standard practice for almost a decade has been that the army the paramilitary and the police they all operate together they all operate together so uh, the only thing is taking away the legal cover from the boys there are certain disturbing indicators we are getting on the as far as our strategic neighborhood is concerned china is muscling in in a very big way you seen what they have done in the maldives you seen the political turbulence they have created in nepal you have seen the uh, uh, myanmar is virtually there is a civil war and i'm uh, sorry apart from your channel very few other channels seem to be covering our strategic neighborhood so there is uh, something cooking it it's a good desirable end aim that we phase out uh, aspa get back total normalcy to jammu and kashmir but i think we should uh, take steps towards that with due caution and i'm sure the government doesn't plan to do it day after tomorrow yeah. i'm sure they are equally aware of the yeah. pitfalls and the sudden slide backs snakes and ladders that yeah sure they are but you know the very fact that this has been spoken about as a possibility by the home minister is i think aditya very significant ladies and gentlemen aditya gupta is a state vice president of the jnk youth pdp aditya this is a very significant statement it actually takes away one of the pole planks of the pdp doesn't it it takes away one of the fundamental no, pole uh, planks uh, of the as pdp as a matter of fact in 2000 no no as a matter of fact in 2015 the agenda of alliance was formulated by virtue of which the pdp and, and uh, bjp formed a government in that agenda of alliance it was specifically written that the that it was our specific and unanimous uh, decision by both the parties that was bjp and pdp that apsa will be revoked it has been our long standing demand our president mehbooba mufti have been again and again stating this that there is a requirement of confidence building vision 
As a result of conference building measure, it was important that we revoke the Armed Forces Protection Act. And uh, for that particular purpose, we have been always oh, advocating. So it doesn't take away a, any kind of poll plank. But, As a matter of fact, but I But it's have also a reflection, isn't it? I mean, Aditya, it's a reflection of the... Okay, go on. Go on. Yeah, go on. Go on, go on. Oh, so, oh, yeah. So what I wanted to say here is that, see, uh, this has been our agenda right from the beginning. We have been always advocating it because it's a confidence-building measure. You have to understand Jammu and Kashmir. See, the, what is important here is that people have the confidence, that for that purpose of gaining the confidence among the people, because they are ultimately that are relevant. You, me, any political party, we are not important as important as the the requirement of the people and their desires are are important. So part of that, the conference building measure was the revocation of officers. No, so precisely the and point, we have been Aditya, advocating, precisely the I point, okay I'm, I'm sorry that. to intervene the again. I, I, would you ever have imagined, we see, okay. what, what no, no. Aditya, Aditya and Lokesh, before I bring Shazia in, no. the fact is, it is the BJP which is talking about removal of AFSPA. It's almost impossible to believe if the BJP, if the Home Minister, no else, and no less, is talking about the removal of AFSPA, for me, the immediate story is that Kashmir yes. has genuinely made a, point. a change for the better in terms of the security situation. That is the real story here. That's what we must and talk about further, tonight. Yes, Shazia. Yes, and Arna, going is further. The Legislative Assembly of Jammu Kashmir. So, Arna, going further. Oh, well, well, no, no, let her come in and we'll come back to you after that. Being let her come in and you come back to you after that. I just want to come in for 20 seconds. So, not only is BJP talking about it, I'm sure other parties have Should promised it and spoken about it, as just mentioned by the other speaker from PTP. But for the first time, one is working in that direction. And I just want to give you some figures which will actually make you sit up and realize that there's serious work happening instead of just talk or a poll promise or a plank. Now, I'll tell you, the total number of deaths has come down by 68%. If you look at just terror incidents, do you know there has been a 70% reduction? And that is huge. How much was stone pelting in those days? In 2010, it was more than 2,500 cases. It has been reduced to zero. For the first time, and my friend from PDP was just mentioning that the requirement of people is supreme, is most important. For the first time in the history of independent India, we are seeing that there is a direct dialogue with the people of Kashmir, with the youth of Kashmir, without the, the, the intermediaries. And yes, well, there can I come in or not? A, big, I think 20 uh, a clamp down on terror activity, terror activity, yeah, terror yeah, right organizations. After her. And so definitely we're working in that direction. Like, like, just like Major General Bakshi said, it is not going to happen day after tomorrow. It has to, to be this. carefully deliberated upon. But at least this party has one, one minute, one minute. walked the talk yeah, I will, I will, and worked I will. in that direction I will, but, in a very but, concrete and a positive a single, manner. I have a simple no, question No, no, but that's good. Ask. That's all That's all good. But that, that that's all good. That's all good. One can still be skeptical about one whether one is totally ready. Lokesh. Yes, let's not put the cart before the horse. Arnab. When is a democratically responsible government getting formed in Kashmir? You cannot talk about revoc revoking AFSPA without even having a democratically elected responsible government in Jammu, in Jammu and Kashmir. You have given no definite date as to when the elections will be held in Jammu Kashmir. You have no definite plan yes, it'll happen for restoring September. normalcy, normal democratic government in Jammu and Kashmir. And you cannot give promises like revoking AFSPA. Do you know that today... The center has imposed AFSPA in eight districts and 21 police stations in Nagaland. So, considering what is happening in the neighborhood, considering what is happening in Jammu and Kashmir, if such statements yes. are delivered, these are only small own gimmicks. These are only made keeping in mind the elections of the country. Look, but yes, without during any your form time, there was. Do you know the decrease Madam, of AFSPA has, 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 has come down to 70% decrease in North Eastern states. Talk about what's the ground states. reality. 70% decrease. I, I don't know, but you can't, reality. you know. Compared no, no. to the Congress party. No, but look. In Lokesh. North Eastern states. Lokesh. No, no, these are just Location, figures. Shazia. Lokesh. In the North Eastern Lokesh. states, you can't 70% be, you can't, decrease Lokesh, you can't have this of AFSPA. You can't have this. Yeah, you can't have this. No, you can't have this approach, Lokesh. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. You are leading from the front always. General Bakshi, he's always leading from the front saying, remove AFSPA. 
even when security forces are king, being killed, you say remove AFSPA. Just three months ago, four soldiers were killed and two were wounded in Jammu and Kashmir's Poonch districts after two army vehicles were attacked. You said remove AFSPA. Less than a year ago, five army jawans were killed in an explosion in Drajori. Sticky bombs and steel bullets were used in a terror attack. You said at that point of time, remove AFSPA. I said night after night to you at that point of time to you and your ilk, we need AFSPA. We need AFSPA. The security forces need more protection. When Kashmiri anymore, pundits were killed two years after 370. Conducted. Allow me to complete. When two teachers were killed in a government school, one of them a Kashmiri Sikh and one of them a Kashmiri Pandit, when they were killed, you said remove AFSPA. And no, today so right I don't now, know which you side you're on, Lokesh. So you want AFSPA are you, are to go or to stay? AFSPA? Are you supporting AFSPA? Are you for or against AFSPA? No, I want to know. I want to know whether you are supporting AFSPA. Are you supporting AFSPA? If you are not supporting AFSPA, then the basic me? precondition towards the basic precondition me? towards the revolution. Are you asking me? You know the rational. You know the rational. No, are you asking me or asking a rhetorical question? I'll get go. Giri Bakshi. Democratic, responsible government in Jammu and Kashmir. On what basis are you going to revoke AFSPA? Answer this. What you are going to? What form Amazing. of government? Amazing. First of all, let me say tonight. To I let Giri Bakshi respond. I, I will say tonight, I will say, to, Lokesh, one minute, General Bakshi will respond. You, you know, at least I am consistent. I am for maximum support to security forces in terms of legal protection. I don't keep changing my position with the wind or with the prevailing political situation, unlike you. I have been supporting AFSPA. But I'm also saying if the Home Minister of the country is talking about the possible revocation of AFSPA, it's a reflection of the situation so on the ground. Have the elections I don't change my position. Between. Today, government is saying we'll revoke Let AFSPA. You said I want it. Tomorrow, say the government says we want AFSPA. You'll say revoke it. Makes no sense, my friend. Exactly. I'm sorry, but and it's sounding a bit like Rahul with Gandhi. Right laws, One minute. With Uh, Arna, I, I want G.D. Bakshi to respond on this. It, this what? You are displaying political yeah. immaturity. Uh, uh, Arnab, if I may, uh, if I may, you know, the Home Minister has spelt out a desired end state. He spelt out a, revo a complete restoration of normalcy scenario. And in such a scenario, quite obviously, the AFSPA would go. Correct. A lot of the military presence would go. But that would be a outgrowth. That would be an outgrowth of the situation on the ground. As Arnab just reminded you, it is just last year that we lost four boys. And that was in, after a, not a sole incident, a series of incidents in which the Pakistanis are feeling about trying to revive terrorism. Look. When I was yes. serving in Jammu and Kashmir, there were 5,000 armed terrorists there. 5,000 armed terrorists, 60% of whom were foreign terrorists from across the border, in, uh, across the line of control. Today, they are down to 150. They are down to 150. And what we are uh, observing is that they are, they are lying low. They are going in for very uh, you know, low risk strikes against individual Kashmiri Pandit targets, individual labor from India, etc., etc. Uh, they are not using the standard, uh, you know, armed terrorist groups. They are using more OGWs for one-time jobs so that they can't be this thing. All pelting has come down. You see the, uh, the tricolor fluttering proudly, not only in Lal Chowk. I'm so but it's not down to, to zero, General Bakshi. Dull lake full of tricolors. But it's not down to but zero, General Bakshi. That is the it's point. Down to zero. That is the point. That is exactly the point, Arnab, that I have in my service career seen many premature optimistic moves backfire, lead to a slide back, lead to a snakes and ladder situation. The armed forces have worked very hard to get to this point. We have to keep the pressure up till it comes to absolute zero. Mm -hmm. And once it gets mm -hmm. to absolute zero, then you can uh, mm -hmm. revoke AFSPA. But not before that. Yeah. Uh, Aditya wanted to come in. Aditya? 
Yeah, uh, I was uh, I was mentioning that. See, there, there is uh, one one uh, doubt that we have. We have a doubt whether on the implementation of the same. See, uh, making a statement at this junction and saying that he will be revoking, we are considering upsize, basically looking at the elections. We hope that it's not one of the jumlas which have come to Jammu and Kashmir, be it the rights of Ladakhis or be it the rights of the people of Jammu. Why? Be it, uh, let it not be like the one, uh, the previous... Uh, See, previous, previously also the government has been saying uh, about the elections and most of the times it has been deferred stating that, see, there has been security issues. So there have been a lot of jumlas that have come and there has never been a concrete. See, uh, this government has been famous for so these I things. They to... got the women yeah. reservation yeah. which will be implemented in 2029. You make a fair so point. So I hope that APSA is Aditya. not the similar... If APSA, just a minute, just a minute. I'm not shouting. I, no, just, yeah. just a minute. Aditya, uh, please, I, I want please, to try to you. understand what I'm trying. Just listen. I know, I know, I know. I just want to come to you for no, no, the, on I, that. No, no, you issue. can. Let me finish off. You can answer it, ma'am. It's absolutely fine with me. But let me put forth my point so that you can sure. answer it well. Sure. So the what has to be seen is that the, uh, we really want that the Home Minister should not not only say it, he should walk the talk here. He should look at the also as a conference building measure. He should release those journalists and young men who are re, who are relegated to different jails without trial, and they should be released also. So this is also one of the conference building measures, as is the revocation of APSA. And uh, once someone mentioned about the targeted killings and also about the increasing uh, rate of militancy in uh, Peer Panjal area, that is something which is also a strategic failure or a, uh, that the, there has been a lot of failures as far as the intelligence is concerned. This is not only me saying, this has been the former uh, raw chief also saying. Mr. Dalit said it on, uh, on a different platform saying that there, uh, the intelligence is dried up. So the government of India not only has to revoke APSA as a confidence building measure but also so, has to relook or rethink the strategy of handling the these incidents whereby young soldiers are dying. We really feel bad about the fact that see, a young deputy, I, uh, deputy superintendent of police was uh, martyred in, in South Kashmir. So these are the things that really are required and we have been always there. This was the BJP government and PDP government which formed post-election post alliance in which the agenda of alliance was settled and it was agreed that the APSA will be removed. So we welcome it. Our President Mehboob Mufti again and again have been advocating it. The, 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 earlier we were, the questions were raised on, on us that why are, are we anti-army, that we are anti-army, we are anti-nation when we ask for revocation of APSA. So today, are you, the Home are Minister you changing uh, your position? It so that Aditya, are you, Aditya, Aditya, that we were, we were Aditya, always asking for the right. Aditya, Aditya, yes. Aditya, uh, yeah. see the, uh, okay, so I make a political view. I'll take a political stance on this. You see, Mehbubma Mufti's position is much softer than that of Omar Abdullah. She's appearing to want to being on the same side as the BJP on AFSPA, trying to find common ground. And this comes after the breakup of the Gupkar Alliance recently. I'm not making it, drawing any conclusion, but I'm saying with the upcoming assembly elections in Jammu and Kashmir, Can I we should to that take, take note it. of that. Now, are we really ready? Uh, pardon me? Are you ruling out the possibility Aditya in the future? Are you are you are ruling out the possibility in the future? No, Aditya. No, no. You. No, I'm happy to take a response. What's your response? Are you, are you ruling out the possibility of a future alliance completely? Yeah. So my, resp my response to the fact is that see, this is one level? thing that we have been advocating all along. This is not something that we, it has happened today. It is the Home Minister who has, who's, we, both of the parties were having a different opinion as the revocation of APSA is concerned. Our stand was that he wanted it to be revoked. BJP stand was they never wanted it to be revoked. Today, the Home Minister has agreed with what our stand is. So that is what I am saying. So you because can ask the same question to the Honourable Home Minister that since no, he has agreed with what in, we I have been saying, in, uh, it is Aditya? an absolutely welcome Aditya? step as far as he is concerned. No. So it is not as simplistic as that, yeah. Arnav. It is far more nuanced and complex. And what, what, what the Honorable Home Minister said that we're working in that direction, when they have been asking for a revocation of APSPA, of such a significant promise, it can't be made in a vacuum. Surely you have to prepare a lot of ground. So what the Home Minister said, that we are working in that direction, that there is, it's encouraging to look, to look, look there and to move in that direction. But it's not happening in a hurry. Nor are those promises being given, and if it's, it's one only party a statement or one of intent, that is as of now, as of now, of normalcy. as of it now, is, is a statement it is of exactly, intent. I mean, that exactly. you know, I think that I think that, that I think that several news channels jumped the gun today on that. 
No, no, several news channels jumped the gun on this today. And they tried to make it look, General Bakshi, like the revocation of AFSA is a matter of a few days or weeks. It's not. What the Home Minister has said is a statement of intent. He said, we would like to replace the army with Jammu and Kashmir police. We would like to revoke AFSA. He's not given a date or timeline. But I don't understand, General Bakshi, why Lokesh, why, why Lokesh can't say that's a great thing. As a statement of intent, it's good. This indicates something. Why do you have to look for a negative story in this? Lokesh, no, where not. there is none. It's well, extraordinary, Lely, your response. But General Bakshi, are we ready? General Bakshi, are we truly ready? Uh, you know, Arnab, like uh, you very rightly pointed out the nuance. It is a statement of intent. It is a desired end state that is being spelt out. Desired end state in Jammu and Kashmir is total normalcy, total, uh, you know, a condition of such peace and calm that the armed forces can be pulled away and the uh, police can do the heavy lifting. Are we ready for it right now? No. Just last year, just last year, a few months no. ago, we've had major encounters in uh, Rajauri and Punch. And we find the Pakistani ISI is on the constant lookout for where they can get an opening to somehow restart, uh, you know, their nefarious operations. Therefore, sometimes when things look good, one is tempted to, you know, uh, take a risk and uh, remove AFSPA, take away the armed forces. In my experience, it has led to some unfortunate slide backs, especially Doda and Kishtwad areas. You know, when we prematurely took away forces, uh, yeah. thinking that things were, uh, you know, on the mend, they were improving. There were slide backs. Like I said, this is like snakes and ladders. You reach up to 99. It will take time. And there is that one snake yeah. which can get you back and to and two. One more point I would like to make. So that doesn't take time at all. One point. It doesn't take time at all. Yes, Lokesh. Yes, yes, it's very Lokesh. important to have a democratically elected government in order to bring about normalcy in Jammu and Kashmir. You cannot think about normalcy without having elected representatives, responsible government, a law and order based upon constitution, simply uh, via uh, you know revocation of Article 370, suspension of internet, and uh, you know, uh, having uh, depriving people of their political and civil rights. Yes, but in the, revocation in the same of breath, could be. It it is a long. No, in the goal, same breath. In the same to, breath, why don't you mention to, that grenade attacks have come down, casualties, IED blasts have come down, stone pelting incidents have come down by 92 percent, 92 percent fall in stone pelting, hartal and bandh calls have come down. By 90%, you will not mention all that. Why so convenient, no, Lokesh? Okay, fine, fine. No, Why so convenient? Us, Why we, always we, speak we, a negative story? Why not speak the truth the, tonight? Tourism is up. People are going to Gulbar, Pahalgam with their children once wait, again. Wait, wait. No, why don't you mention that? For normalcy is a democratically elected government completing its tenure, successful free and fair elections, and people having complete faith in the state government as well as central free and government. Fair elections. For this, we need to have elections conducted in Jammu and Kashmir till the time we don't have the elections conducted. You cannot sure. come out with some grand slogan and all. Because all this is only what about we and certain gimmicks which you are giving just on the eve of elections. Okay, listen, I, I, I think this is a statement of intent, so I'll leave it at that. I also want to caution everyone, today is a statement of intent. It's not like it's happening tomorrow, so some news channels should be misleading you. The Home Minister has given a statement of intent, which is very significant, but it's not happening tomorrow. 